Snyder, and I, Thomas, Iwana. Um, Coach, if you could give us uh, an opening statement, and then we'll take questions. You know, that's a that's a really hard team to play against. Um, they're they're so physical. Uh, apply pressure for 40 minutes. Um, you know, they're they're always aggressive. Uh, so, uh, you know, couldn't be happier uh, for our group to to get the win. Um, I thought Zakaya was was terrific um, in, on a night where we really needed her. I thought she really sensed, um, you know, that she was needed to be more aggressive on the offensive end. Um, and then, uh, you know, really proud of Anaya um, to keep fighting. And uh, she came off the bench tonight and really provided a spark and, and I thought made some really timely plays. Brandon, again, uh Two times in two games. Can you provide an update on Holly's condition and how she's doing? Uh, I th she's fine. Uh, I think uh, initial feedback is is just dehydrated, so they got her back and and uh, got her fluids and and um, but she was in the locker room after the game and and uh, is out with her parents now. Was that you? She was leaning on. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I just I, I could tell that mm -hmm. she wasn't right and just looking in her eyes when she came off and and then you know, she just kind of crumpled. Mm -hmm. Looking at Zakaya's performance, uh, 25 points is one shot of a career high. How much did she really need that? And, and how much has she been a catalyst for what you guys have been doing the last six games now? Well, I think she's been really steady. Um, obviously, she leads our team in minutes. Um, you know, she's she's got a uh, mouthful of stitches. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and I thought just responded, you know, really, really well. And then Anaya comes in and steps up. Really, kind of in Holly's absence, not the same role necessarily, but you know, kind of filled one today. How how good was that to see? Well, I mean, she's just you know she's been in a slump. Mm -hmm. She'll be the first one to tell you that. I mean, you just have to keep working and stay confident, and uh, keep believing in yourself. And and uh, she's done that. Continued to practice really hard, put in extra time in the gym, and um, she really stepped up in in uh, in moments where she was really really needed tonight. And how does that feel when you have a performance like that, given what you've been going through? great because you know going through the slope I was like down on myself a lot and I just wasn't like there so when I got in the game I wasn't as aggressive as I, as I usually am on offense and de defense but I've been working and got in the gym and then I had to come out today because of Holly absent so some, we had to, everybody else had to step up and take over the minutes so we need to have a group. I know this game has just ended but what can this do for you now as you guys go into this meaty stretch here where you're playing well and getting, getting, getting confidence? Me? Yeah yeah. Um, Hopefully, I just keep being a good teammate um, and just be consistent lately and just stay believing in myself and believing in my teammates mm -hmm. and then continue to believe in me as well. Ivana, they were, you all were really aggressive on the boards and made that uh, attacking the rim and being aggressive, rebounding early on, set that tone really, really. The first couple of minutes against a, a big team like that, um, how important was that for you to, to let them know that you, know, you were going to be there and that was going to be what you want to do today? really tough game since the very first minute that my coach told me just keep being aggressive, keep working out, um, it will pay off, and just staying aggressive, and that's it. Coach, you guys have won six straight now with five games left in the regular season. What is your message to the team to kind of keep that play off as you head into the Big 12 Conference play? We'll take the day off tomorrow and come in Thursday ready to prepare for Texas Tech. You get the extra day now because of the weirdness in the schedule. You don't have the Wednesdays always going. How much does that well, help? Um, you know, when you when you play three in a week, um, it's hard to take a day off. Mm -hmm. And uh, NCAA rule wise, if, if you don't take a day off in that week, you have to take two days off. Um, and so we decided to take Sunday off and do a one day prep for West Virginia since we played them, mm -hmm. you know, so recently. And and then. Um, Obviously, took our typical day off. We'll take our typical day off tomorrow. Coach, you mentioned Sakai's uh, aggressiveness earlier. Um, is that what impressed you most with her performance tonight? You know, um, I thought she guarded really well. Uh, I think, you know, she just did a great job of attacking the pressure um, and, and finished around the rim, um, whether it was through contact or, you know, over length. And uh, <clears throat> just just did a really good job of finishing plays. Coach, is it confidence that's 
built the winning streak or is it the winning streak that has instilled the confidence? You know, I, I think um, belief and confidence, um, well, first off, I think confidence is knowledge based on truth. And the truth is our team knew that they were much better back in August uh, before we ever played a game. Uh, so there was a lot of belief even as we started preparation. Um, I think to be put in a situation where we had to play three games in five days coming out of COVID, uh, two of which were on the road, <clears throat> and then go and win those two road games, I think that was a, probably the biggest confidence builder of the season. And um, these guys have just continued to um, prepare the right way. And they're not getting caught up in win streaks or uh, the first this or first that. They know that uh, in order to keep playing well, we have to keep preparing the right way. Brennan, we didn't get a chance to ask you, I guess in the last day or so, but your father being selected to the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame, what does that mean to you? And, and what did he do for you trying to get you along this, this path into coaching and, and leading? Um, you know, obviously I'm just really proud, you know, for him and the recognition <clears throat> that comes along with that. He, he's done a lot. Uh, I would consider him one of the pioneers, you know, of the game, uh, coaching 46 years and being at the high school level and then at the collegiate level as well. Uh, in terms of what he did for me, first off, he tried to convince me not to coach. Um, but I think, uh, <clears throat> you know, he's an incredible teacher of the game and uh, really stresses the importance of fundamentals. And then he's always stressed to me, <coughs> excuse me, you know, just to be yourself. Uh, don't try to be somebody else. Don't be a phony, just be yourself. It's your team, but how active is he with <coughs> being around everything that's going on here? How much is he watching stuff and sending you suggestions? And oh, he watches every game. Yeah. Um, he was actually here for the K-State game. Mm -hmm. He doesn't get to see as many games in person, but uh, he watches every game, and um, he'd love it if our players would get in stance more consistently. <laughs> Coach, tonight, International Students Night, how important <coughs> are the players that are on this team that rank from outside the United States? How, how important are they to this team in particular? Oh, they're, they're hugely important. Um, you know, we have seven uh, international players on our team, and uh, they provide uh, such a gratitude uh, for the opportunity. Um, they're extremely proud to represent Kansas and also obviously their, their home countries at the same time. And uh, they understand uh, the history of, of Kansas basketball and what it means to, to be able to compete now in Fieldhouse, you know, on a, on a nightly basis. You've got Tech again on Saturday. It's been a month since you've seen them. Vivian Gray's been in the league for 20 years. But what, do you, what else do you see from them and, and how they play? You know, I, I haven't caught them much at all. I, I briefly saw a game, you know, maybe 10 days ago, and she had 36, I believe. So uh, she really got going here, cooked us here. Um, you know, we'll watch them play tomorrow night and, and uh, obviously put together a plan when we bring the team back. But um, she's a big focal point and is a, is a terrific player. Coach Gray. Okay, can I get one? <coughs> all right. Sorry, that's from the station. I answered that. <laughs> Um, you're not ranked yet. Hi. How are you, how do you guys feel about that? Are, are you concerned about the rankings? No, we haven't even talked about it. You know, at this at this point in the year, um, our focus is a lot more on doing enough to get in the tournament, uh, and then when we feel like we've done enough to get in the tournament, then it's um, about trying to play well enough to get the best seed possible. Um, we could care less about, you know, polls. Um, there's value in, in that in recruiting, and, and that's about it. All right, thanks, everybody. <clears throat>